Hey everyone, it's Shauna the Tax Goddess and Chief Tax Strategist for TaxGoddess.com, StrategicTaxCoach.com, and Drop My Taxes. And I am super thrilled to be with you here today and our fabulous guest, Mr. Jonathan, um, on our channel, Tax Strategies That Save Entrepreneurs thousands each year. We are dedicated to helping business owners reduce their tax burdens in all the legal ways possible and are just thrilled to be bringing you this knowledge. And by the way, make sure you're subscribed because we have an amazing, amazing fireside chat coming up at the end of this month with Jonathan. So you need to be here. So who is this guy? This guy is Jonathan Morrison. He is an expert in trust and legacy uh, wealth and estate planning. So Jonathan, what topic are we covering today? Uh, Shauna, we're going to be talking about a really easy way uh, to protect assets from creditors. Dig it. Okay. We, we like assets and we don't like creditors. So this is, this is good. This is a good thing. Okay. So listeners, if it is your first time here with us on tax strategies that save entrepreneurs thousands, make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of all the new awesome information that we're bringing for you. And of course, you can download our free ebook, 10 Ways to Save 10K right now in the little link down below. So don't forget about that. And uh, so let's jump right in because creditors, yeah, okay. So tell us how we're going to protect stuff from creditors. <laughs> So I have a lot of clients that come in and, you know, a lot of real estate clients, people that are worried, you know, surgeons, people that are worried about lawsuits or creditors um, or, you know, buying, they've signed guarantees. And, and so they're worried. They want to say, well, I want to, I'd like to protect some of my assets, and obviously legally and in ways that aren't defrauding creditors. Um, what can I do? And, and, oh, by the way, I talked to this other attorney. And he said, we can go to the Cayman Islands and set up this complex structure that's going to cost me only $100,000. Only. <laughs> and it's all offshore, and, and there's all these entities, and it's very complex. And I say, listen, you know, there's such an easy way to protect assets from creditors. You don't need to go offshore. You don't uh, and, you know, raise exposure by the IRS and the government. You don't even need to go to... Um, a different states, and there's some states that have what are called asset protection trusts or self-settled spendthrift trusts. These are all um, trusts that, that arguably work under those states, but if you don't live there, there's a lot of recent case law that is starting to say, unless you live in that state, you don't enjoy those protections. And so um, I tell my clients, hey, you know what we can do? Um, let's just set up a good old-fashioned Arizona trust for your kids. Or if you're married, for your spouse and your kids, okay? You won't be um, a beneficiary of the trust, so you can't actually take the money back out of the trust. It's Once you put it in, it's there for the benefit of your children and or your spouse. Um, and let's say you put in a rainy day fund, you know, a couple hundred thousand or depending on how much you have, maybe a couple million. Um, but you put money in there or cash or real estate or you name it. Um, and now it's inside this trust account or titled the name of the trust and you don't own it anymore. It now belongs to your children and or your spouse. Um, and so clients say, well, wait a second. Okay, that's cool, Jonathan. It's, I don't own it anymore. So if, if I'm sued or if I have a bankruptcy, um, my future creditors can't access it. And I say, yeah. They say, well, I want to be able to get it back. I was going to say, I like my money. I don't, I don't want to give it to my kids yet. <laughs> access the money. And so I say, well, yeah, you know, you're not a beneficiary, um, unlike some of these offshore or other states where uh, arguably you can be a beneficiary, but maybe it doesn't work, or maybe you've got a big red flag. So you're not a beneficiary, but you could still be the trustee of your kid's trust. You could still be in charge of investing your kid's assets, or for example, maybe making a loan back to yourself um, in exchange for writing them a promissory note. So now you could take back the money um, and you've got now a debt due to your kids, or your kids' trust. That's one way you could access it. Another might be you're invested in a business that you're operating in and now your kids' trust has an interest in your business, but um, you're still using those funds for your business. Or if you're married, um, you could give distributions to your spouse, and now that's her separate property or his separate property, um, but you can continue to enjoy it. Um, lastly, you know, years down the road, once you don't have any more worry about creditors, um, 
your children and or your spouse could all agree and say, hey, we want to give the money back to dad. You know, it was in this trust for us, but um, it's dad's money, really. And we want to agree to just shut down this trust and give it back to dad. So these are all tried and true um, ways of protecting your assets uh, without having to do any fancy, expensive offshore out of state planning. I was going to say, if you're only putting $100,000 in the trust and it costs you $100,000 to get an offshore whatever, you kind of defeated the purpose. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, listeners, as usual, this is why we bring you experts, right? Because you don't need to go spend $100,000 on these big trusts, all right? You just need to find an attorney that knows what they're talking about, and that's why we bring you experts. We love it. So thank you, Jonathan Morrison, for being here today. How do our listeners find you? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm a senior partner at Fraser Ryan, Goldberg, and Arnold. We're the largest tax trust and estate firm in Arizona, I believe, at least one of the top three. Um, and I focus on basic estate planning as well as advanced tax and estate planning strategies. Uh, my number is 602-277-2010, where I can be reached at J Morrison, M-O-R-R-I-S-O-N, J Morrison at F-R-G-A law.com. Fraser Ryan, Goldberg and Arnold, L-A-W.com. Awesome. Thank you. And, and as you listeners know, all that information and links and LinkedIn and all that will be down in the show notes down below. So make sure you click subscribe, click the little bell icon, share with somebody who you know wants to be able to protect, right? If you hear somebody saying, God, I really, really need to talk to my attorney about protecting those assets, you know who to call, all right? So as usual, tax strategies that save entrepreneurs thousands. We are here to educate, entertain, inspire, and of course, bring you amazing information that will save you money. Psst, not paying $100,000 to an offshore account to set up whatever that was. That sounds awful. But anyway, so thank you so much for being here with us today, Jonathan. It's a pleasure as always. And if you listeners want to get any more information, you can always join our Facebook group, Tax Strategies That Save Entrepreneurs Thousands. Uh, we're going to try and convince Jonathan maybe to be over there, maybe to answer some questions. So, but we'll see. But worst case, you've got his information. You can find him. And uh, of course, signing off with Tax Love, your tax goddess and chief tax strategist, Shauna. Thanks, guys. Bye.